It was good. Film stars just a cornucopia of actors from Jake Gyllenhaal, who's come a long way since Donnie Darko, a movie I quite enjoy, but man, he's really stepped it up with his last couple films. Then there's the always reliable Josh Brolin, Kira Knightley, who, who hasn't aged a day, if you ask me, uh, which you did, and I'm telling you right now, she hasn't aged a day. I'm going too fast. That dude from House of Cards is in it, uh, Kevin Spacey's right-hand guy, I forgot his name. There's just, there's just a nice range of actors, and they all do a, a great job. The problem I have with the film is, you know, it's a very emotional movie. It's based on a real event, I'm based on real events. I know that whenever Hollywood makes those, you always have to... You have to take off like 30% of the bullshit that Hollywood adds on, but it makes for a more entertaining movie and that's what I'm there for, really. So if you're not familiar with the film at all, the quick story synopsis is it's a bunch of climbers who paid $65,000 to climb Mount Everest. They have guides. The mountain's overfilled right now with too many different groups, so they have to team up. There's harsh conditions they have to overcome. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of struggles basically is the bottom line since this was filmed for IMAX You can expect some beautiful location shots of Everest. There are sweeping camera angles. There are beautiful pan outs Everything looks great That being said I saw this in 3d which typically I steer away from and I wish I would have this time around I don't know if it was the uh Conversion. I don't know if it was the theater I saw it in, if it was the glasses themselves, but this thing was dark. And it's, it's like wearing glasses right now. It's 30 to 40% darker with the glasses on, and that's how it was. Who am I watching right now? Is that Jake Gyllenhaal that's suffering? Is that Josh Brolin? I don't know who I'm looking at right now, because they're all wearing jackets. And unless you remember the colors of their coats, which some of them share the same colors, you're not gonna remember who's who. I don't know the backstory on the music or who composed it or anything, but I feel like there's a lawsuit that's gonna take place unless they got permission to use the music from Journey, which is a PlayStation 4 game, or PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 game. It's a, it's a beautiful game, so well done, and the music is amazing. That music, I swear, is just cut right from the game and put into the movie. It's not a bad movie, like I said, but it's nowhere near as good as The Martian, in my opinion. Um, but it's not a bad movie. There's just nothing really, uh, there's no wow factor. There's no vertical limit shot where the guy's jumping across with pickaxes. <laughs> I mean, which is ridiculous, but it's still awesome. Am I going to drink this? Just hold it. It's like a prop at this point. So there was nothing that uh, I, I loved the theater thinking, man, remember that scene? It all just kind of blends together. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think I think if you went to it, you would enjoy it, but I would personally hold out for The Martian if you're thinking of seeing a movie next weekend. Uh, the Martian's the one to go to. I've already seen a story similar with Alive, which I think is the superior film, although it's been many a moons since I've seen that. I'm going to cue that up again, and I think I'll feud. I'll do a movie feud, which is the... The, the crux of my channel, uh, I'll do Everest versus Alive. I think that would be a solid, solid one to do. Uh, I'm gonna score this a 7.5, which I think is, is pretty run of the mill for a based on, you know, real events, based on real events, Hollywood style. You know, everybody does a, does a serviceable job. Like I said, nothing really stood out. The, the picture's great, but if you see it in 3D, I'm curious to know if you had the same experience or if it was just my theater, but that conversion was garbage. Even the trailers were dark, so I'm, I'm thinking it was just the theater I was at, which is a shame. All right, well, there's my review of Everest. Nothing too exciting, kind of like the film. It's just a straightforward, you know, nothing flashy, there you go. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the car if you subscribe, which you should. And I, now I die.